Welcome to PK Glitz, home of Jammy Classes. We want to thank you for joining us today and also want to remind you to visit our website so that you'll really know what's up to date, what's hot and what's going on. And we want to remind you to be sure and get to the store where you'll find a complete line of all the products that you'll need for the classes. We've got a wonderful line of projects, cards, all kinds of things lined up for you this season. So, without further ado, let's get started. Here is an exquisite card for the holidays using our premium prints, our Spectrum Noir alcohol pens, our Wonder Film, and our brand new Moon Dust. This is a card that is a lot of fun to do and as I said really gives you a, a wonderful finished product. In addition to our pens we're also going to need our anesthetic brush and our coffee filter. Let me tell you the colors we're going to be using in our Spectrum Noir. They're going to be our DG2 and DG4, our GB4, and CT2, that's for our ribbon, a DR1 and a DR5 for the berries, and a TN2 and TN8, and that's for the stem on the branch. Now, let's get started with our project. We're going to start with our premium paper print. This is Holly and Berries, and we're going to start with our first two colors, DG2 and DG4. I default to these colors a lot because I, I really like them for my holiday greenery. I want that gray bar, that's my bullet tip, and I'm going to start with my darkest color first, and we're just going to add a little bit of shadow in our leaves. So I go around to each leaf, add a little bit of shadow where I would like for that to be, and that could be either under a ribbon or along a vein. Strictly up to you. Catch a little bit right there. Then, leaves are such easy things to do. The next point is just taking our DG2, which is our lighter green. Then we're going to start in the center of the leaf and just push out. Just go right over the top of that color that you've just laid down and just push toward the edges. Now remember we want to leave a little bit of a margin because it's going to bleed or wick on you a little bit so we want to leave a little room for that but we also want to leave just a little hint of white. White really adds to your piece so if you can add leave just a, a little bit of white edging on your leaves or whatever you happen to be working on it really will add a lot to the finished product. Now we're just going to keep on going along here once again, always working from the center out, just going right over the top of that darker color, and that will just blend your shadow right on into your piece. It just makes making leaves as easy as falling off a log. They just always turn out very, very nicely. You could even add a little bit of golden color in there if you wanted to. However, since we are doing a holly leaf, which is primarily just green, we're just going to stay with our two shades of green for this particular project. So just keep going over those. I am choosing very rich colors for this particular project for a couple of reasons. We're going to be covering this with a thin film of our Wonder Film and with a very, very thin coating of our brand new Moon Dust. And that's going to obscure our colors just a tiny bit. So we want to be sure that we've started out with colors that are vibrant enough in the beginning so that when we do put this kind of haze of Moon Dust over the piece, that we still have a nice vibrant piece that we're working with. Okay, there's our leaves and they still have their shadow in, look very, very good. Now let's go on, we're going to continue on and do our ribbon next. I'm going to start out with my lighter color, which is my CT2, and I'm just barely, I'm going to go over the whole ribbon. We'll just finish coloring that out, and then once we do, we'll go back and we'll add our little shadow areas. So we'll just come on in here and finish getting that. Just a light coating on there. We just want to have a little base color down. And then once we've done that, we'll go back and add the shadows. Remember too now, what you're working on is important. Your alcohol pens are going to bleed through a little bit and we don't want to ruin the surface that we happen to be on. So, And don't be afraid to use a, a little, be generous with those darker, again, those vibrant colors because one more time they're going to be obscured a little bit 
by the film of the Wonder Film and the Moon Dust. So don't be afraid to, to put some of that richer color down. Okay, get a little shadow in there underneath those little holly leaves. There we go. That's looking pretty good. I like that. Now, let's go back. <clears throat> let's do our little berries. I picked a couple of reds to do that with. Starting with the lighter, we're simply going to go over the largest part of the berry. Leave just a, a little portion on the, I'll just say the bottom side for this piece that we're doing, because we're going to put our little bit of shadow down there on the bottom. So. Try to catch each berry just a little bit. And remember, there's a couple right down there at the bottom. Then we'll come back <clears throat> with that darker color. And we're just going to hit the bottom edge of each one of our berries. And that will give them that little slight shadow underneath. Okay. Just a little bit on each one all the way around. That's great. That's going to give us some nice two-tone there. Now, the last we're going to do is going to be our stem don't want to forget that. I'm using the lighter color, the TN2, and I'm going over the whole piece. And then we'll come back with our little bit of dark and throw just a little shadow or two in there. And that's going to be our TN8. So let's just come in now and add just a little hint of shadow along there. Again, right through here and there. And then I'm going to go back one more time to that lighter. And I'm just going to blend those two together a little bit. Let's use the edge of that just to kind of pull those colors together. That's great. Okay, so there's our picture ready to go now. Now what I've done is I've actually cut a piece of my Wonder Film. A size that will go over the entire piece, just like so. So I'm going to peel one edge of this off, and we'll just get rid of that top piece that's not sticky. And then we're going to lay this, just sort of center it over our holly and berry, just like that. And be sure it's on there nice and tight. If you happen to have a brayer, it's a good time to get that out and use it too. And I'll get that down nice and flat. Then we will peel away. You want to be sure your hands are really clean when you're doing this too, peeling away this extra piece because it's going to uh, want to, oh that just wants to tear in all kinds of interesting places. Let's just come back up here and try again. We are going to be cutting uh, this piece out so we don't have to worry too much about that. But your hands, if they have any soil on them whatsoever, will stick and leave a little residue on this Wonder Film, so you want to be really careful about that. Now, our Wonder Film comes in a great little shaker, just like this. We do that because it does have a little tendency to react with humidity, and it does need to be shaken every now and again uh, just to keep it moving, keep it from clumping up. It is so fine that that can be an issue with it. I always leave my little cotton in the top, too, whenever I'm not using it. And in this particular sense, because I'm going to be covering so much, I went ahead and put a little out in a jar for myself. And now I'm just going to go over my whole picture, the top of the whole thing. Anywhere I've got Wonder Film, I'm going to put a little bit of my moon dust. Just shake that around a little bit and be sure everything gets covered. And then once we have, we'll come back and take our brush and brush any excess away. So we'll just brush on that till we've brushed any of our excess bits away. And then at this point, we'll be able to determine how we want to make our card. And in this particular instance, all I did, I just took a, a green half piece for my card. I cut an oval out of red to be my, my top piece, and then I just laid my little holly underneath. It's just that quick and easy. But isn't it exquisite looking when you get through? This is a card that doesn't take any time at all. They're great to do when you're doing large numbers of cards. It's a great way to use your pins and your moon dust and all of the other fun things that you've come to know with PK Glitz. Uh, we hope you'll join us again. We've got lots of other projects scheduled, and we want to see you back here with us at another time. 
Hope that you'll also tell your friends, go online, take a look at our website. We've got a lot of great products. And if you don't happen to have all the materials you need, we've got some great jammy kits too. Until next time. Thank you for joining our jammy class today. Wasn't that fun? Be sure to go to the website and join our email family. As email family members, you'll receive jammy class updates, coupons, new product information, and much, much more. We look forward to seeing you again next time.